Has anyone ever challenged you to something you are an expert at without them knowing it? If so, how did it turn out for them you? Not me, but I remember a story of a kid whose dad was remodeling their garage, and he was going over the drawings with the inspector who had a chip on his shoulder and was saying that the designs wouldn't work. The dad was disagreeing saying that it would going back and forth. The dad then asks if he would improve it if he had a P sign off on it. The inspector agrees and the dad goes inside and gets his PE stamp and stamps the drawing. At a barbecue last summer, my friend's nieces, kind of bratty little things, were playing on the trampoline. They were doing front flips and things. They challenged me to do what they were doing. Little did they know that I had 15 years of gymnastics and 6 years of trampolining history. I launched in with a straight double back somersault. That simultaneously impressed them and reminded me of the value of a good warm-up. I bought a house and had a guy offer us a $20 Lowe's card to give us an in-home demonstration of water filtration technology. He came in and set up and started his spiel. He asked me what I do for a living, and I replied that I am a chemist at a water treatment plant. He stopped for a second and said, you probably know more about this stuff than I do. He then asked to talk with my wife, who refused. He packed up and left without continuing the demo. Never got my $20 Lowe's card. I sort of did that. I was jokingly challenging my philosophy teacher with a 1M ruler, sort of like a sword. He grabbed a pointer and completely disarmed me. Apparently when he was at Oxford he had done fenching, and for quite a while after that. Owner of the restaurant I work at brings in this gimmicky as seen on TV vegetable dicer, the kind where you still have to use a knife to get the food small enough to dice. I laughed at him as he tried to tell me how much time it's going to save us in the kitchen. He challenges me, three onions, small dice, winner gets a case of beer. I've been cooking professionally for close to two decades, so long story short, that was some good beer. I was at the gym at work, and there's a fit-looking older guy running on the treadmill. There's also another guy there wandering around, not really working out, but trying to talk to everyone and offer advice, what is it with guys thinking girls need help in the gym haha? Ha. Just being a pest in general. He wanders over to the guy running and starts asking him what he's training for. Running guy answers ultra marathon in a few weeks. Annoying guy is impressed but jokingly and says will you win? RG, probably. AG, oh, ha ha ha, yeah, you've always got to be positive right? RG, well, I've won it for the last three years and the closest person to me was 50 minutes behind me, so yeah, I'm pretty positive. I surreptitiously checked out his name on the sign and register, and went back to my desk to Google him. Yep. Multiple records for ultra marathons, 24 hours road and treadmill races, 48 hours treadmill races. Late to reply, but years ago one of the goofiest friends of mine had a pair of those fucked up teeth made by a dentist, so they looked extremely real and were extremely messed up. He would wear these and talk in a hillbilly drawl, acting pretty much functionally retarded. He could keep this act up for hours. In reality, he was a scratch golfer who had a full ride to a university with a nationally ranked golf team. He was wearing his teeth and scroungy clothes when playing a round of golf with a friend, and they had to pair with a couple of older CEO-type snobs who were wannabe Arnold Palmers. The older gentleman decided to take advantage of my friend for some easy money, friend accepted, and then convinced them to raise the wager to a more serious amount of money. It did not end well for the decked-out pair of CEOs. For the record, friend kept in character the entire time, leading the men to believe they got their asses kicked by an illiterate redneck. Edit, it would be so much funnier if I had a video. Now that I'm thinking about it, he looked and acted very much like Ben Stiller in Tropic Thunder when he was forced to act out Simple Jack in front of the enemy camp. Goodbye mama, now you can have ice cream in heaven. I'll see you again tonight when I go to bed in my head movies. But this head movie makes my eyes rain. So I enter a round robin pool competition in Cairns, Australia. At this point in my life I look, well, a little scraggly. 
I'm also a bit more than half pissed, and my first match is against this very snazzily dressed bloke with slicked back hair who proceeds to screw his very expensive queue together as I sit on the bar stool nursing a jug of beer with a mate, the shitty house queue resting up against the table. This guy has clearly watched the color of money a number of times, and arrogance wafts off him like so many dollar bills from an easy mark. Now, I'm not the best pool player in the known universe, but I did get my own pool table as my 10th birthday present, and I played that shitty, warped fucker every single day for years. I then spent most of my life from 16 minus 21 playing pool in bars in New Zealand. So, you know, I'm alright. So anyway, Tom Cruise over here makes eye contact for the first time, and I say hello and compliment him on his rather nice cue. He responds by saying don't worry buddy, I'll go easy on ya. Coin flip, it's my break. I down the rest of my beer and sink two off the break, and proceed to have a dream run. I'm in that wonderful place between slightly buzzed and rather pissed where everything just feels right, and I'm sinking every shot with perfect weight and spin to bring the white into position for the next shot. 5 down, 6, 7. I'm on the black and Mr. Shark over here with the dude hasn't had a shot. The shot is actually not that hard, and being one of those perfect moments, I carpe diem by lining it up, and then look up at him to lock eye contact as I hit the white, watch the black drop in my peripheral vision, smile and nod. My mate, meanwhile, is pissing himself laughing. Old mate doesn't even shake my hand, walks out of the hall without saying a word. Drank too much beer afterwards and didn't win the comp. Not an expert, but I was invited to a Christmas party last year. They had a dessert competition. Not very many people knew I'm going to college for culinary arts. Won unanimously. He told me that he wanted a rematch next Christmas. I'm taking my baking class this semester. Good luck mister. In the Marine Corps they do a lot of wrestling grappling as training and exercise. Well for a Marine I was a pretty unimposing looking person. Little did they know that I had been doing jiu-jitsu, a form of grappling, for about 4 or 5 years before joining. So more than a few times I would have these big weightlifter, meathead types challenge me to grappling only for me to wipe the floor with them. It kind of became a joke once people caught on, and when we would get new guys to the unit the guys in the know would trick them into grappling against me. I was pretty good at Gears of War. Gears of War 2 comes out and a kid at school was having a tourney at his house the weekend after the game released, and my buddy invited me over. The kid was talking so much shit the whole time, but mostly to me, guess he didn't like me. I finally have had enough and said the typical 1v1 me bro, and we get to it. Execution mode on river, my best map. I was asked to leave his house by his dad after I won because I made his 16-year-old rage and put a hole into their wall. Edit, holy fat balls I sleep go to work and come home to see that this thread and my comment blew the fuck up.